Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. I have a another Tonic Studios order to share with you guys. This is one that I placed, um, well, it seems like quite a while ago. Uh, it was on the 7th, so what, two weeks ago? And it arrived today. And it has the showcase 13 in it and it looks like some paper and the new expanding moose uh, I think it's expanding moose we're gonna take a look anywho if you're new to my channel welcome I hope you stick around to spell if you like what you see please hit that subscribe button ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos Thumbs up, likes, always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. So, uh, I guess we'll start, yeah, I guess we'll start with the paper. Uh, this paper bundle is called the Craft Perfect Pumpkin Pie. And, um, with my discount, they, they don't, they changed how they listed everything on here. And so because I get a discount, it shows the discounted price. It doesn't show the actual, like the retail. But so I, I pay, it's, and it's 10% off. So I paid $18.97 for this particular bundle. Uh, some of this, uh, it's it's a lot of fall. And I that's why I got it. Because I don't think I have a lot of fall colors. And... Come on. And this is, uh, y'all know my weakness. Um, if you're new, my weakness is textured cardstock. I love textured cardstock, and I also prefer it to be solid core, which Tonic Studios is. There's a, f there's not many companies out there. I believe Basil is a solid core. Um, can't think of any other ones at the moment. Anywho, let's get started. So we have Brick Red. Not my favorite color, but it is a good fall color. Uh, oh, this is a mixture. It's not just textured. Uh, then we have Tan Brown. We have Avocado Green. We have Marigold Yellow. And those are the, the textured cardstock. So they're textured on one side and almost perfectly smooth on the other. But y'all have to agree, those are some great, great uh, fall Thanksgiving colors right there. Then we have specialties. And so I guess we'll start with the green. We have the seafoam green. This is an iridescent mirror cardstock, so it's got that hollow effect to it. But off camera you can see the color better the camera really hot you know really I guess what amplifies the hollow on it the next color I'm gonna go it's a double-sided it's the pearlized they call it pearlized card but it's per, pearlescent card in red velvet and the pearlescent card is the only specialty card from tonic that is double-sided so there you go and of course, the textured card is uh, double-sided. Next, we have glitter card in Welsh gold. I got to tell you, this is one of my favorite golds out there. It is not like an in-your-face, like yellow gold, if that makes sense. Some of them can be pretty obnoxious. Uh, but this is definitely one of my favorite uh, golds that are out there, and especially by Tonic. We have another pearlescent card, and this is called Lemon Luster. Very, very pretty. That goes nice with the Welsh, too. It doesn't look so much like it does um, on camera, but it does look good. And then we have Mirror Card in the Satin Effect and Honey Gold. This is another pretty gold. Actually, I think those look better together. There you go. So... That is the card stock that I got. And um, I know some of these I already have, so I need to go through and um, split and give some to my sister. 
so that is the cardstock. The the next goodie I got is the expanding mousse, and this is the it's called the Witch's Cauldron, and they are great Halloween colors. We have uh, Bramley Apple. That is a new color. So we're going to do that. We have Misted Moth. That I believe is another new color. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't recognize these colors. And then we have Red Leather. But that is a great Halloween combination. You, you got, Yeah. Definitely the green and the purple. Uh, if you're not familiar with Tonic Studios, also, I'm not affiliated with them at all. Uh, I just love them. Um, expanding mousse is exactly what it's saying. So you can use it a couple ways. You can rub it on with your fingers. You can use a blending brush. You can use a spatula. Uh, you can put it down on a palette, add some water, and paint with it. But the expanding part of it is the thicker you put it on, get, you know, of course, get it with the heat gun. Don't get too close because you don't want to burn it. You can burn it. But it expands kind of like a liquid applique. If you're familiar with liquid applique, it's something that's been around for a very long time in the crafting world, uh, it, ex it expands. So, But you can go super smooth. You can go thick. You, Like I said, you can paint. Now, I'm going to tell you, I don't know how it reacts when you add water to it and paint. I, I don't know. So I, I can't tell you. Um, maybe one of these days. Uh, I think it's going to be after Christmas. Or maybe before Christmas. I don't know. Or maybe I'll do it Chris, Christmas weekend because um, my kids aren't going to be here. My daughter and her boyfriend are... Moving to South Carolina, my Joseph, my guy that lives here, he is going to South Carolina to spend so that all my kids are at their dad's for Christmas because they've got a a teenage sister, um, their dad and uh, his second wife. Yeah, so they like to spend holidays with her. I understand. It's still a bummer. I would love to have all my kids together for Christmas, but I don't know when that's going to happen. Anywho, neither here nor there. But uh, maybe I will think about at Christmas time, somewhere around Christmas time, doing different videos about how the different mousses react um, and ways to use it. So, uh, just got to remind me on that. Anywho, the next thing, this I'm really excited about because I love coffee, but I rarely get to drink it because it just, my, my system doesn't agree with coffee and it's probably the caffeine but what's the point of drinking decaf coffee it tastes nasty for one um it stinks that's my opinion okay <laughs> but um the showcase 13 is called the coffee collection and the Showcase 13, again, if you're new to Tonic, they have different, I don't want to really call them clubs. There's only one real club, and that's the Tonic Craft Kit that you can subscribe to. Everything else, you have to pay attention and um, watch out for the release dates and wait for them. Because uh, Tonic is notorious. They'll come out with something, and once it's sold out, it's gone. You might get lucky. It may show up in a mystery bundle somewhere way down the road, but... Uh, you know, you can't can't count on that. Anywho, the stamps that came with it, really cute. I I will definitely be using these, especially because my aunt is, she lives for coffee. Her and my husband live for coffee. So we have, you make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside, but first coffee. I couldn't live without you. Better latte than never. You make every day better. We have brew, you a latte I love. We have a little coffee spot, some coffee beans. Treat yourself, go on. 
A cup of coffee makes everything better. Um, how have you been? Fancy a cuppa and coffee. Um, more than coffee. You so mocha. I miss you. And again, how have you been? So really cute stamp set. But the, 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 yeah, the best part is the die set. And the showcases always come in a pocketed sleeve um, that will fit in a two ring binder. Basically the tonic um, die binders. I don't remember what they're exactly called. But um, we have the basic coffee cup. You have different sleeves you can put on it. This one's, um, what does it say? Oh. You warm my heart. So that's what this one says. Uh, super something. T H E D T R. I, I don't know. I can usually read these, but I can't read that one. I believe this one might say break. Coffee break, maybe. You've got different, you got steam, you've got whipped cream, you've got the um, cappuccino, like little looking up here. You have the dyes to cut the beans out, sugar cubes, a spoon. I don't know if that's supposed to be a mint leaf. I have no idea. You even have the coffee lid and then you have that you can emboss the steam. So, and these actually fit the stitch marks on this one so that's pretty cool so these here and this can all be used together in one form or another i think that's pretty cool yep oh here um you could put a handle on this one make this one look like it's a coffee mug really great set i will try to put a link if it's still up on their website down below so uh you can check it out and i also try to find a couple um videos i'm pretty certain that um crafty potential i've mentioned her before she is a designer for tonic and i i haven't been watching a lot of crafty videos i've been binge watching wood turning <laughs> i love wood turning i love anything that's wood and um I've been obsessed with watching wood turning lately. So I have a very wide range of YouTube that I watch. Uh, we're actually considering just getting rid of cable because I think I watch cable TV maybe two or three hours a, a week. I really don't watch it. I usually just watch YouTube. And we've got, you know, we've got Hulu, Disney Plus, um... We've got some other, we've got uh, Amazon Prime Video, Netflix. So we're really considering just getting rid of cable altogether. So, anywho. Uh, but I'll try to put some links down below um, so you can see some samples with these made. Again, I'm going to try to, um, in December, I'm not going to give a date because I'm not good at that. At... Uh, Maybe doing some demos and different um, applications for the different types of Numo moose, nu Numo, Nuvo mooses. And I've had these for a while and have been meaning to share with y'all and just haven't gotten around to it. So a lot of y'all know I, I shared this little beauty right here quite a few months ago. I want to say probably in the spring. This is called the Debbie Tool. Um, I saw it on a video. I can't remember whose channel right now. I watch her all the time. She's great. And I just can't think of her name. But anyway, so I bought this. I love it. Uh, if you're, you're like, okay, well, what is it? If you're new to crafting. If you have a stamp positioner, so like a Tim Holtz stamp platform or the Misty um, that'll be the only time you hear this name because I'm not a fan of that company. Um, if you have problems with your wrist, arthritis, stuff like that, and you're trying to get the even pressure for your stamping, 
these have begun have now become really popular people make them and you put you close you set everything up you close it up and instead of rubbing your hand over and pushing really hard and hurting your wrist you push down on this and it slides around really easy gets you a really great stamp impression absolutely amazing downside i think i paid 40 bucks for this although i do love the bling well i was on etsy you know i like etsy and this been you know etsy does recommendations based on your purchases well this popped up you know this looks like a i don't know a doorknob a drawer knob coat hanger you know you stick it on the wall this is a 3D printed, uh, you can see all the lines and grooves on it, a 3D printed one. It weighs nothing. I mean, you can kind of hear how hollow it is. Oh, no, it did not fall apart. Um, I will also try to put the, and no, I'm not affiliated. The company doesn't know that, in fact, I, I'm so bad I haven't even done the review on it on Etsy yet. They keep asking me. Uh. This here was $7, $7. And again, it weighs nothing. It is a nice size. You know, it's comfortable in the hand. It is solid. It works great. And then they sell this piece here, which is another 3D piece. Mine's dinged, but I don't really care. Um, but it is to set it in here and protects it from getting dirty, you know, from sliding around on your desk and stuff. And I think I paid $4. So I paid $11 total for this one compared to the $40 I paid for this one. And I guess if you include shipping, I think I paid more than that for this. They can do all kinds of different colors. They can do rainbow ones, metallic ones. This is the met a metallic uh, green. I can't remember the shade. Uh, again, they don't know. I can't think of the name of the, the, the shop on Etsy, but I will link it down below if y'all want to go check them out. $7 is definitely more affordable and doable than 40 bucks. So there's that. Well then, because you know, Etsy, <laughs> their algorithm, and likes to, you know, pay attention, makes recommendations on your purchases. Y'all, every time you work with the blending brushes, and uh, anything like that, you know, you work with your stencils, <clears throat> we get ink all over our fingers, right? Especially when you're blending colors with the um, the oxide inks. Here come, I don't even know what to call this thing. They have the initials DG on it. I don't know what that means. And I can't remember if it's the same company or different company. I'm going to put that down there too. And I think I paid seven dollars for this whoops get, oh, get back hold on boy okay anywho let me grab a stencil Urgh. i'm gonna show you i'm not gonna do one right now because so i got i gotta go do stuff this weekend is all about some um, prepping for the cruise I gotta do everything this weekend so you know you're taping down or you can't tape down because you're moving your stencil around so if you're I'm right-handed so I'm gonna hold this in my left hand and I am gonna grab a brush and there you go you're holding it it's not moving it doesn't transfer ink I've used it it works and, you know, if you need to turn it, because now you got ink on here, but you want to put some, I don't know, some wavies now on the Christmas tree in a different color. There you go. You set it up. And uh, you, you got to press down on it a little bit. But, I mean, it's not moving. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's going to do anything special, but it works great. And, again, I can't remember what this is called. But I will go in, and if you're interested, I'll go find the Etsy shop that I got it from. So y'all can go check it out. I think they have different colors of this as well, I think. So, so yeah. These are things I've been meaning to share with you guys for a while. Um, you know, our, our crafting tools are expensive, so it's really nice when people bring things on the market that are affordable and reasonable. 
And uh, so I wanted to share that with y'all. And, uh, and yeah, this is, I mean, this thing's solid. It would be nice if it was smooth, but again, it also helps, you know, it's not going to slide out of your hand because it's gripping. So you can see, you can see the 3D, because if you've never seen 3D printing, they're basically melting plastic and it just works its way up. And it's the same thing with this, so. Anywho, thought I would share those with you guys. Um, I, I think this weekend I may record... Uh, some new house mouse uh, videos for you guys. I got some new uh, house mouse blocks. And I'm sure I've got something else. I just can't think because my mind is all over the place right now. And uh, good news. Oh, Amazon just left our house. Um... My blood work came back. The, the 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 iron hasn't come back, but everything else came back and everything was great. My doctor was really happy, which is nice. So, I uh, cuz my my platelets, my vitamin D, um something else were all over the place. Actually, no, they weren't. They were like way way low. He was really worried. And, um, I also, they have to test my liver and kidneys, uh, because the medication I can take and I take it long term, it can affect. So, uh, every six months we do my blood work and he says everything looks good. So now we're just waiting on the, the results back for the iron, but, uh, he's happy with what I've been doing. So I'm just going to keep doing that. And I had to go to patient advocate because, I've still had no contact as far as the scheduling for my knee surgery. And that's been a whole song and dance. So I'm hoping I hear something next week before I leave for the cruise. So that is that. And today was a really rough day because uh, recently it's, you know, y'all know I've been having lots of issues with the knee. Well, my back has been behaving as much as it can. Well, today it just threw an all-out conniption fit. And I look like Frankenstein walking right now. Because my back is um, right at the base of the spine. And, and that's where... So it's my L5-S1. And actually... So I, I have to... If you don't... If you're new, I have degenerative disc disease. I used to be five foot eight. I'm now five foot six. And actually they think I've shrunk a little bit more because at my doctor visit this week with my shoes on, I was five foot six. <laughs> so I, I guess I'm shorter now. Um, but anyway, so my L5 S1, those are really bad. But the the, de the the degenerative disc disease has is slowly moving up. And so my L4, it's through my L2. Those are slowly progressing as well. Anyway, that's where all my issues are. And today, I mean, it's, it's just like the base of the spine just locked up. And it just hurts so flipping bad. And... My back and my knee are fighting each other. And I'm like, okay, I guess I better go find my back brace. I already knew I was taking my knee brace on the cruise. But I am determined, period. I am having fun on this cruise. Whether I look like Frankenstein or not, um, maybe I should just dress up as Frankenstein's wife. <laughs> I walk the part. <laughs> Anywho, I'm going to get off here again. Uh, I'm going to try to remember to put all the links down if you want to go check everything out. Again, nothing is sponsored. I have everything you've seen I've bought. No one has sent anything to me for free. They don't know that I am sharing their shops on my channel. It's just those have been around from the very beginning know that if I find something that I think is really good and a great value, I'm going to share it with you guys so you guys can find it and use it because we know crafting is expensive. And... If I can find it for you, I'll find it for you. And um, if I don't like something, y'all know. I tell you I don't like something. So 
whether I was selling it or not, which I, you know, y'all know, I don't, I don't sell crafts anymore, but anywho, y'all have a great weekend. I love you guys to pieces. Any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Shoot me an email. Um, I am going to try to have at least one, if not video, two videos to post for y'all the week I'm gone. So we'll be leaving here um, next Friday, and our cruise leaves next Saturday on the 30th. And so uh, the plan is, is for me to have at least two videos to post for you guys while I am gone. I am also going to attempt to record a couple of shorts while cruising to share with you guys. Um, don't know how that's going to work yet, but I'm going to try. If anything, I might post them after I get back. I, I just, I don't know. Because I know internet on the ships isn't great. Um, I always get the basic package, which lets me uh, Facebook message family in case there's emergencies back home. And uh, that's all I really do. So, anywho, again, love you guys. Have a great weekend. As always, happy crafting. Bye-bye.